Welcome back to another episode of our Taco Tuesday series where I'm cooking my way through my cookbook, the Taco Tuesday cookbook. If this is your first time here, you'll find the links you need for the book and the recipe right below this video. The first thing you wanna do for these crusted fish tacos is create the coating for the fish. I'm using unsweetened, finely shredded coconut for this recipe. To this coconut, I'm going to add some panko breadcrumbs and our Arriba or taco seasoning. I have some coffee leaves here for this recipe because it's a thicker fish and that's exactly what you wanna to use to coat with the coconut breading. So I'm just gonna squeeze some lime juice right over our cod fillets. And then I'm gonna put it in the breading and turn to coat on both sides. I've lined a baking pan with a wire rack and then we just place the cod right on top just like this. We're gonna bake these for about 10 to 15 minutes and the time is gonna vary depending on your thickness of your cod fillets. So while our fish is cooking, I'm gonna combine some diced mango with some fresh pico de mayo, mayo. While the fish is cooking, I'm going to combine some diced mango with some fresh pico de gallo. This is not just for fish. You can top grilled chicken with this salsa. You can use pork, I mean, on top of salads. All right, and this mango salsa is ready. Here I have some shredded cabbage. I love, love, love texture in my tacos. And this goes perfectly with fish tacos, of course. Now you can save some time by buying pre-shredded slaw at the store and you're good to go. I'm also going to slice an avocado so I have it ready from when the fish comes out. I'm just gonna transfer them from our cooking pan right onto a board or you can do a plate because we are going to chop this into smaller pieces so they'll fit our tortillas. All right, so to assemble, we're just gonna place some of the shredded cabbage right onto our tortilla a couple of coconut crusted fish pieces, top it with our mango salsa, some avocado slices, a little crumbled cotija cheese, and some jalapeno for good measure. Wow, you guys, this taco, let's give it a go. I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe. See you next time.